Hello St Luke, it's good to see you, although uh, through the screen I can't see you but you can see me. It's great to be gathered here today and I hope that in this strange time you're having a great time. I hope the school learning's going well, I hope maths is fantastic, I hope the English is improving and most of all I hope you're keeping safe. I've been asked to write a little story, or tell a story for you today. So here we are, my take on the magic bubble wand. Empty, the bubble wand. Well, empty the bubble wand, lay in a muddy patch feeling confused and lonely. A bubble wand, by the way, is a small piece of plastic shaped to look like a round empty head supported by a pencil thin body. He'd lain there ever since his owner had come to play in the forest and dropped him from her pocket. As a result of the fall, he'd lost his memory. He couldn't remember where he'd come from or who he belonged to. All he knew was his name and what he did. It was a great relief when he started to hear someone nearby. Hello? Hello? I'm empty the bubble wand, he cried loudly. Who are you? The passerby stopped nibbling the grass around the muddy patch, hopped over and sniffed at Empty's head. I'm Scholar the Rabbit, he said. What did you say your name was? Empty, the bubble wand, replied Empty. I make bubbles, you know. Well, I never. How interesting. Scholar took a closer sniff, and with that, who should come along but Scholar's friend, Gossip the Mouse. And as soon as Gossip came within earshot, he called out, Hello, Mouse! Come and join the fun! Before Gossip could ask, What fun? Scholar said knowledgeably, Gossip? I'd like you to meet our new friend, Empty, the bubble wand. He makes bubbles, you know. Oh yes, I see, very nice, squeaked Gossip. He was just about to tell Empty how pleased he was to meet him and how he'd always planned to make bubbles himself, if only he would find the time, when along came Slow the Snail. Hello, Snail. You've just come in time for the party. How are you keeping? Oh, hmm. I've been worse, said Slow. And slowly he lowered his antlers and stared. But who are you? This is Empty the Bubble Wand, squeaked Gossip. He makes bubbles, you know, explained Scholar. Slow took another long look, and then since he wasn't as good natured as Scholar, or as easily as impressed as Gossip, he came out with a very awkward question. I don't see any bubbles, he said. Where are they? Scholar wiggled his ears at Gossip. Gossip twitched his nose at Scholar, and you could see they were both wondering the same thing. As for Empty, he was shocked. He hardly knew what to say. It was his way of getting attention, telling strangers who he was and what he did. He hadn't bargained on anyone, expecting the bubbles to be real. I've lost my instructions, he muttered in the end. Scholar's nose twitched. And confidently he said, Hmm. Well, in that case, you'll just have to come along with us. We'll take you to someone who should have the answer to your problem. And that someone that Scholar, Gossip and Slow took empty to was Hoot, the Wise Owl. What can I do for you? Hoot hooted. 
as they all appeared at the foot of his tree. This is empty, the bubble wand, explains Scholar. But he's lost his instructions. So we were wondering if you could tell him how to make bubbles. Hoot looked at empty over his spectacles. Then he disappeared into his tree and came back a few minutes later with a glass full of green liquid. Bubble mixture, he hooted. All empty needs to do is plunge head first into that glass of the liquid and it fills his head or his heart or whatever he calls that hole in the centre of his person. Oh, that's easy, said Scholar. Thank you so much, Hoot. Well, come on, Empty. What are you waiting for? Poor Empty. He wished he had never met. Scholar, gossip, or slow. And most of all, he wished he had never met Hoot. The mixture in the glass looked all wet and sticky. The last thing he wanted to do was to plunge head first into it. Perhaps Empty doesn't want to make bubbles after all, said the owl. But that did it. Oh, yes, I do, said Empty, and splash into the glass he went. And when he came out, a few seconds later, he was beside himself with excitement. Oh, that's wonderful, he cried. The most wonderful experience of my whole life. I feel great. And look, I'm not muddy anymore, and then my middle isn't empty, and oh, thank you, Hoot, thank you for telling me how to become a real bubble wand. Scholar and gospel, I'm sorry, scholar and gossip, Frisked around with delight, but slow, looking as puzzled as ever, said, I don't see any bubbles. Oh dear. For a moment, everyone looked as if they'd like to give Snail a good push. But then, the green liquid started to slide down him at his stick. Slow's right, he told Hoot, sadly. It hasn't worked. There still aren't any bubbles. Oh, there's one more thing to do, said the owl. Now that your middle's full of bubble mixture, we must hang you upside down from a branch of a tree and wait for the wind to blow. By this time, Empty would have done anything, anything at all, to make bubbles. It'll all be worth it, he whispered. To scholar as they hauled him up on the branch and left him hanging. I hope, he added quietly, as the creatures moved back from the tree. For a long moment, nothing happened. And suddenly... There was a whispering, a rustling, a stirring of the leaves and whoosh! A cloud of the most beautiful bubbles streamed from Empty's hull. Hurrah! cheered Scholar and Gossip. Slow didn't see anything. He just slithered off after the biggest bubble and tried to catch it on his antlers. More bubble mixture. Quick, fill up, fill up, hoot hooted. And whoosh! As the wind sent another cloud of sparkling balls dancing through the clearing, emptying through, though he would explode with joy. To think he'd been calling himself a bubble wand all this time and had never known what it, what it meant to, until now. I'm a bubble wand. I make Bubbles, he cried. Look, gossip, look slow. I'm being it. I'm making bubbles. I'm being what I've always said I am. I wonder. I wonder if you 
are who you're meant to be. I wonder if you are filled with the wonderful whoosh of life. You see, each child, each person, is a roller coaster of emotions. And we are an amazing rainbow of colours. When the wind catches us, when life fills us to bursting, we become amazing. We can sing and we can dance and we can bounce and we can bring joy. I often see children as the joy makers of this world. So perhaps during this next few days or weeks, you too could make some bubble mixture. And who knows, you could blow the bubble. And as you blow the bubble, and as the light hits it, perhaps you will see the kaleidoscope of colours, the potential of something beautiful. But until we meet again, may the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine on you, and be gracious to you. Bye-bye for now.